I'm here with Dr. Romano and Professor Blois to do problems on areas and angles. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry and author of the Dat Destroyer book and the creator of the Orgo Man products. I'm here with Professor Blois and we're going to work on some DAT math questions. All right, Professor. Okay, let's uh, look at this first problem. A little bit of ang uh, triangle angles. Uh, find the measure of angle Z if the angles of a triangle are labeled uh, Z, 2Z, and 6Z minus 9. Well, very simply, the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, so we want Z, if we add Z plus 2Z plus 6Z minus 9, that all adds up to 180 degrees, so this is a, uh, add the three Z terms here, we get 9Z minus 9 is 180 degrees. Bring this over to the second column, 9Z is 189 degrees, and therefore Z is equal to 21 degrees. So uh, that's the measure of angle Z. Very simple, very straightforward. Okay, here's another straightforward problem, but it's nice in that it incorporates the area of a parallelogram. So here's a parallelogram. Okay, parallelogram, which is a quadrilateral in which the opposite sides are parallel. And we have, uh, which has a base of 20 feet and a height of 4 feet. So it's a height of 4 feet. So find the area of triangle ABC, which I'm going to label here. It's ABC. So here is parallelogram ABCD. We want to find the area of triangle ABC. Well, first, let's, here's the strategy. We're going to find the area of the parallelogram. And you can see that if we slice it in two with this diagonal, it's going to give us uh, half of that value is going to give us the area of triangle ABC. So the area of a parallelogram is going to be uh, the base times the height. Simply that, same as it is for a rectangle. So it's going to be base times the height. 20 times 4, which is 80, degree, uh, 80, and therefore the area of triangle uh, ABC is just going to be exactly half that, half 80, and that's going to be 40, whatever the units are. So that's very straightforward stuff, but it includes some good formulas. All right, I hope you got a lot out of that. Easy problem once again. But like I said, sometimes you got to do the easy problems before you work on the harder ones. All right, good day to you, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.